Okay, so remember I told everyone to go take pictures of their pets? I promise this is my last pet picture. From here on out, pets are banned from the computer. But uh, I had to include my little kitten here. Her name is Scoop. I think of her as a scoop of ice cream and not a scooping anything else, hopefully. Um, but So let's say I had this picture and I decided to be really obnoxious and send everybody a picture of my kitten everybody on my mailing list um, for one thing I could not or should not send them um, this which is a camera raw image and the reason we know that is because of the dot CR2 it's a Canon image because no one will be able to view it most people aren't going to have the Canon software they're not going to be using Photoshop so all my relatives might be able to view something like a JPEG which is covered in um, one of the next videos and so I need to convert this to a file format that is more universal like JPEG so what I'm gonna do is open up this camera raw image and I could double click it but just to be safe I'm gonna right click it and say open in camera raw and so here's our familiar camera raw palette now let me talk a little bit about this palette again um, down here at the bottom this is really important all these buttons one two three and then one button over here they have very different functions and very distinct functions so this one done which is since it's highlighted in blue means that's the default position if you just hit return on your keyboard it would go right to being done and what that means is you've done some conversions in camera raw and now you're done with them you're just gonna store that away back in the same folder it came from cancel means okay forget it that's the wrong image I didn't want to work on it and this is actually a really cool thing is um, holding down the option and we talked about this a little bit um, changes this button to reset right here so cancel becomes reset when you hold down option on a Mac or alt on a PC um, open image what this will do is open the raw image in Photoshop proper uh, right now we're in bridge first and then we went straight into camera raw um, when I say open image with this button we actually go into Photoshop itself and if you didn't have Photoshop launched you would actually see it launch now uh, in this video what I really want to focus on is over here on the left save image and when we go to print um, all your prints need to be converted to TIFFs that's dot T-I-F-F which is a file format that is a lossless file format what that means is it is a file format that can be viewed in um, in different programs including Photoshop but it does not use any compression whatsoever and that's why that term lossless there's no loss and in fact it can support layers in Photoshop so it's a really good file format on a par with the Photoshop file format which is called .psd all of those opposed to this camera raw file format which is .cr2 or if you had a Nikon it would be .nef now in the case of my kitten let's say I wanted to send it her on the web then what I'm gonna do is convert her to a JPEG so scoop is going to become a JPEG instead of a camera raw image and in camera raw it's really simple you just click on this save image this dialog box should look familiar to you actually from batch rename it's got a real similar feel to it you have to pick a destination you have to name it um, and then finally you pick a format which is your file format so I'm gonna save it in the same location because in this case it's actually on my desktop um, and I'm going to just leave it as document name so I'm not going to add anything in terms of naming in fact I try to avoid that completely um, because I've already done a batch rename so this isn't a very good place to rename and what it comes down to is this dialog box that we're looking at most importantly has its information down here um, 
Now I want to show you the difference. Um, I've got this set on JPEG and these are just pull down menus. So when you click on them, you get a bunch of choices. And in this one, it says file extension dot JPEG. And in this one down here, it says format dot JPEG. And when I click on it, I get other format. I could have digital negative, which is actually an alternative to camera raw. It's not quite the most popular one yet. And I say yet because at some point that might become an important file format in the future. JPEG, which is great for the web, compresses your image. And I have a whole video about that a day or so from now. And TIFF is what we're going to convert our images to every time we go to print in the classroom. And Photoshop is just straight out um, native to the Photoshop program. So I'm going to pick JPEG because I'm going to the web. So I want compression. Um, I want a lossy compression where I'm going to lose some information for the sake of compressing my image. And I'm going to choose a quality, maybe that's medium here because I want to send it on the web. And then, and so, oh, you know what? So by the way, what my point here is that the file extension, if you just change that, so let's say I just say TIFF right now, then I am very cautious of that because I don't want to just change the file extension. If I go to the file format, because file extension is just naming your image. If I go to file format and just go directly to JPEG, you'll notice that up here in the top, the file extension changes right along with it. So I don't change the extension, I go straight to format. And then I'm going to hit save. And I'm done with the raw image, so I'm going to just say done. And you'll notice down here at the bottom of my um, bridge palette, I've got my, and this is on the desktop, I've got my raw image, which can never be changed. Remember, it's a read-only image, so it'll always stay as camera raw. And now I have my JPEG right alongside it. So that's it for file conversion. And in the next video, we'll talk about sizing that image because it's still too big to send on the internet.